Most Americans, including us students, think that they want to jump right into a job, make money, and live the dream life. But what if the majority of the nation, 51%, can't make as much money to live the way they want, live their life fuller than their parents, or provide support for their kids? Well, that 51% is women. Women in the U.S. are earning 18% less than men, even if they have the same job. Even the brightest and most successful women still do not receive the right amount of pay that is equal to a man who has the same job. It's hard enough to get a job with a 7.6 unemployment, so when a woman does get a job, she and every other woman in America should be guaranteed appropriate pay equal to a man who has the same job. But as of right now, women are the sidekicks and men are the heroes. They are thought of as the ones that make all the money and do the hard work. Like Hillary Clinton, she tried to run for president and now works for Obama. Even if women working full-time jobs after one year of receiving their diplomas, which is what most people think will help you achieve your American dream, earn 82 cents for every dollar men earn. Does this sound right? No, it doesn't. But America doesn't have to be known for this. In hopefully the near future, women will be treated equally and be just as or even more successful than men. Abraham Lincoln once said, these men ask for just the same thing, fairness and fairness only. Yes, Lincoln is correct, but what he said will change. Women in America are now also wanting what men once called for, equality, and that's what women will get. Women and everyone else in the U.S. are told that everyone has equal rights and equal freedom, equal opportunities, and equal job rights. And as many Americans know, that dream life of justice is still hard to get. But women will one day break that barrier and will get a job. Once they get a job, they will be paid equally to a man's pay. All men are created equal, and so are women. And that is my dream, for every woman to be working with men and earning equal pay. One day, every lady in this country and every man will be able to sit at a table of no longer brotherhood, but a table that provides full equal rights to both men and women.